Hey guys, it's Jeremy the Math Person, so I'll be going over question 248 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I assume you already attempted it. Let's just dive right in. Ball one contains eight red. Ball one contains red eight ball. Let me try to turn this into red. Eight red balls and six blue balls. Okay, ball two contains. Ball two is empty. Four balls are selected at random without replacement and transferred from ball one to ball two. Four balls. Okay. Calculate the conditional probability that two red balls and two blue balls were transferred from ball one to ball two given that the ball selected from ball two is blue. Okay, so this is basically the probability we're looking for. What is the probability that there is two red and two blue given that ball selected from ball two? ball is blue. Agreed? Okay, so what is that? So that could be, so then my choices are for red and blue balls, I could have zero red balls. If I have zero red balls, I have four blue. If I have one red, I have three. If I have two red balls, I have two. Um, three red balls, I have um, one. And I could have four red balls and zero. But except we're looking for a probability the one at least one ball is blue, right? So this one can't oh so this one can't happen. So we're looking for these probabilities. Except what is the probability of two okay, so now we're looking for the probability that the ball selected from ball two is blue. Because our conditional probability formula goes like this, right? Probability of two red, two blue, and ball is blue given a probability that the ball is blue. So we can calculate the probability the ball is blue first. So we just have to find the probability that it is zero red and four, out of the four balls that I pick without replacement, that the zero red, um, the probability that it's zero red and four blue. Well, that's kind of like, um, this is a combination, combinational probability because it doesn't really matter if you pick the red ball with the flowers or a red ball with the um, star. The order doesn't matter. I can say out of how many um, red balls do I have? I have eight red balls and zero. Out, out of eight red balls, I'm picking zero. And out of six red balls, I mean six blue balls, I'm picking four. And what is the probability that it's blue? Well, that's 100%, right? Because there's only, out of, in this part right here, I only have blue balls. And I can do this similar, similarly, I can do this one. Out of eight balls, I pick one. And out of six blue balls, I pick three. And what's the probability that it's blue? Well, one is red, and it, out of um, three out of four is blue, so the probability of blue is three fourth. And similarly, I can just go all the way down the list, right? The probability here is two fourth or half. And the last one here is eight choose three, six choose um, one, and the probability that it's blue is one fourth. Because again, that's the probability that we're looking for. We're looking for when it's blue. Just doing combination just gives you a um, number. It doesn't give you a probability. So in order to find a probability, we just have to find what is the total possible choices. Well, that's just equal to how many balls do I have total? 14? Yeah. I'm out of 14, how many balls I'm picking? 14. I mean, 4. So I can just put all of that divided by the total co combination, which is 14. Out of 14, we choose 4 balls. Okay, now we can add it all up. So this is equal to 1716 over 4004. Now to the numerator, because I just added all of these up. So at the numerator is just red, probably that it is red, two red, two blue, and the probability of ball B, ball being blue. Okay, so that's just equal to this one right here, right? I'll highlight it right here. So I just have to put it over that number. So what is this number? Well, this is equal to 840 over 4004. And again, we didn't already figured out the denominator. So that's equal to 1716 divided by 4004. The 4004 cancel out, and you get 840 over 1716. Let me type that into the calculator real quick. So this is approximately equal to 0.4895 which is also approximately equal to 0.49, which is our answer, D. I hope you guys found this helpful. 
Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!